I got to tell you guys, I just flew in today from New York, and I have to compliment you. You guys are so friendly. <laughs> you really, really are extremely friendly. When I was leaving the airport, uh, a man said to me, uh, Hey, baby. <laughs> I like the way you walk. <laughs> and I was like, well, if you like the way I walk, you're going to love the way I run. <laughs> compliment I really do because I, I am married and as a matter of fact I am coming up on my fifth wedding anniversary yes I am thank you very much um, we're still paying for the wedding <laughs> you know what if I knew then what I know now instead of having it catered I'd have gotten it sponsored <laughs> you know, like, this wedding is brought to you by Pepsi <laughs> and by the letter W <laughs> if I get married again I'm gonna have the reception at McDonald's man because that's going to be the only way people get a choice of beef, chicken, and fish again. I tell you that right now. <laughs> you know, if you really want to save money on a wedding, a good idea is to cut down on the guest list. I actually read that a good rule of thumb is that if you haven't seen someone or had contact with them for about two years, they don't get invited. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> she should have kept in touch. <laughs> you know what they don't tell you when you're getting married? If there is any mental illness in your family, a wedding will bring that right out. <laughs> my dad, I love my dad, okay? But my dad wanted me to have bagpipes at my wedding. We ain't Scottish. <laughs> We're blackish, if anything. <laughs> To be really honest, I'd sooner have crack pipes. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Weddings are insane. They really, like they always say the woman who catches the bouquet is the next one to get married. If you ask a man why he got married, he's not gonna say, well, she caught the bouquet. <laughs> a bouquet is just a bundle of dead flowers. If that's what inspires a man to pop the question, wouldn't it be faster to do a drive-by on a rose bush? <laughs> ring doesn't make a lot of sense either. Think about it. Man spends money, buys me a ring, that's marriage. But if he gives me the money directly, that's prostitution. <laughs> say that, that my own parents this year will actually be celebrating their 48th wedding anniversary, which I think is pretty cool. Um, yeah. You know what's scary, though? They still dig each other. Do you know what I mean? Like, like my dad will say to my mom right in front of me just to freak me out, hey, baby, why don't we turn in early and make another one? to a good marriage is fidelity and I say that because I caught my best friend's husband cheating you know what it took me so much by surprise I reacted kind of childishly I was like ooh I'm telling I caught you cheating I'm gonna tell her and you can't stop me ooh put the gun down <laughs> marriage is not easy though Marriage is hard. You know how hard marriage is? The three most famous black women in America are not married, right? Oprah Winfrey, Halle Berry, Condoleezza Rice. But between you and me, I think Condoleezza Rice has a man tied up in her basement. <laughs> it's probably Saddam Hussein. Who oh, no. <laughs> People keep asking me, when am I going to have kids? You know, Leah, when are you going to have some kids? When are you going to have some kids? I'm like, I don't know. I, I guess when I'm tired of having free time and extra money. <laughs> I can see who the parents are out here. You guys know, man. Kids are expensive. Oh my, newborns go through up to $80 in diapers a week. That's over $4,000 a year. Oh, he can forget college. <laughs> Talk about pissing it all away, my stars. <laughs> but I gotta 
tell you, I get more pressure right now to have kids than I ever got to do drugs. <laughs> People are like, you gotta have one, at least one, have one. Like they're offering me a donut. <laughs> and here's the thing, you can't have just one kid because what if that one's a loser? <laughs> Sorry if that hits a little too close to home for some of you. <laughs> Someone actually uh, came up to me after one of my shows one time and said, uh, don't have kids, they ruin your life. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks a lot. But here's my thing, if you do decide to become a parent, can you please do us all a favor and spend the five dollars and buy yourself a baby name book instead of winging it on your own? <laughs> a woman who named her child Hennessy. Now, if you are naming your child after alcohol, you should be forced to change your name to Drunken Whore. <laughs> These are my children, rum and coke? No! <laughs> and this is actually an epidemic, I think. Because you guys, do you remember uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, the actress? She named her first baby what? Apple. Apple. Yeah. Now, look, I uh, don't mean to play the race card, but I think white people have officially surpassed black people in the dumbass baby name department. <laughs> you know what, at least we can blame culture. What was her excuse, a craving? <laughs> and here's the really sad thing. You know if this child is ever even an ounce overweight, you know they're gonna call her the Big Apple. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> So I'll be honest, I'm actually scared to have kids. I'm really scared. Because my best friend gave birth to a 14-pound baby. Yes, yeah, even the guys are like, oh, no. <laughs> and that's like an adult dropping out of there like, get a job. <laughs> mm. See, look, I'm a scaredy cat, okay? Anything over five pounds, FedEx better be bringing it, okay? <laughs> mentally ready to have kids, don't you think? Because little kids are smarter than we are. They really have. My niece, when she was five years old, just five, she walked up to me and she's like, Auntie, do you know what lesbians are? The way she asked me, I was like, do you? <laughs> she said, uh-huh, lesbians are two women who love each other. We love each other, don't we, Auntie? Oh, God. Yeah, we do, baby. <laughs> Go on, put on the Katie Lang. Let's dance. <laughs> you know, I used to think, I used to think if I had kids, I wanted a daughter, but I have since changed my mind on that one. Because uh, when my niece turned 12, I, uh, I took her clothes shopping. Um, when did the juniors department turn into whores R us, y'all? <laughs> thongs now for little girls. What do I mean with a thong? Aren't they still getting wedgies at that age? <laughs> what happened to us people? You used to have to grow up to be a hoe. What happened? <laughs> I know what happened. There's no discipline anymore, is there? There really is. You know, I was in the mall the other day and I heard this child say to his mother, shut up, you're stupid. I started taking my belt off. <laughs> And the mother, the mother was like, you can't hit my child. I said, I'm not. I'm going to hit you for letting this little behind get out of control. <laughs> I, you know what? I really do appreciate that because I, I just got to say, I'm a little old-fashioned on this issue. I mean, I think we need to get back to basics and rediscover the therapeutic value of an ass whipping. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if that makes anybody in here feel uncomfortable, we can give it a fancy name. We could call it behavior modification through posterior motivation. <laughs> you know, I know when I have kids, it's gonna be really interesting because my husband is white. My parents had the same reaction. 
They thought if they stared at me long enough, the information would change. <laughs> well, when we were dating, I was actually really quite surprised to find out how many people are still against interracial relationships, man. People said some funky stuff to us, like, oh, you should stick with your own kind. I'm like, isn't that incest? <laughs> had a couple people say to me, oh, you're selling out. <laughs> I'm not selling out. Y'all, if I was selling out, I'd have married a rich white guy. <laughs> you know what I really love? I love the people who point obvious things out to us. You know, like they're trying to be helpful. Like, oh my God, if you have children, they'll be mixed. They'll be half white and half black. Yeah, <laughs> but not like the cookie. <laughs> Help me out here. What am I supposed to say? These are my children, Oreo, Lorna Dune, Fig Newton. No! <laughs> Look, I'll be honest. I am way more worried about the fact that both me and my husband are comics. Yeah. <laughs> you see, because it's natural for kids to grow up and rebel against their parents. Man, I'm scared I could end up with a little accountant with no sense of humor. <laughs> I go shopping, she follows me around with a little calculator going, Mommy, you can't afford that. <laughs> I'd be like, yes, I can, baby. I'm taking the money out of your college fund. <laughs> oh, Mommy's just joking. <laughs> you don't have a college fund. <laughs> you pissed it all away, boo. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. I'm really